What's going on, man? This is Marauder. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all video. I do not own this video. This is from uh, ESPN. Owns this. Owns the rights to this video. I do not own the rights to this video, but it's something I saw this afternoon. I don't think a lot of people seen it, but uh, I'm gonna put this video up. So here you guys go. Hope you enjoy it. Comments in the, you know, the box was cool. Whatever y'all want to say. I just thought it. Wow. That's all I could really say. All right. Check this out. Chris Kirksey wanted to come on Sports Center, talk about it, and set the record straight. And since he's only one foot two, I imagine he's sitting on a pile of phone books or maybe a playbook, but I think these days those are on iPads. First things first, totally serious. Your reaction when you found out you were the smallest player in Madden history? Uh, my first reaction was, um, where am I on the game? <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't even find myself. And um, a lot of people was tagging me on Twitter and uh, Instagram and showing me um, them playing the game, but I couldn't find myself until I looked uh, towards the ground and saw a little dot moving. And uh, my first reaction was, why, why am I on the Titans and why am I this small? But um, I found it pretty uh, funny and it was pure comedy. So You are having a great sense of humor about it. I mean, who did you wrong in EA? Whose path did you cross with in Electronic Arts? that you, of all people, ended up being the smallest player in this game? I have no idea who I spoke to or uh, cross paths with, but uh, hopefully I'm on uh, their good side now and um, I can get my height changed. You've made history. Kind of dubious oh, yeah. variety, but you have made history. You are actually six foot two and 235 pounds, so they're only off by, I don't know, a tremendous amount. What was more offensive to you? The game designers making you that small or putting you on the wrong team? Um, I, I think um, putting me on the wrong team. <laughs> um, I just think that, that, that was pretty funny. And um, But the one foot, uh, two inches, you know, that's almost invisible. So <laughs> um, that's, that's pretty funny to me as well. But the, the most funniest thing that I saw was me try to get, give a guy a high five. And that was a pretty high jump. So that was uh, pretty funny to me. It'd have to be a low five, probably. Sure, one foot two. <laughs> With all 14 inches of you, uh, we've got to ask: What's the reaction been like from your teammates, your family, your friends? I mean, about all this. Well, uh, one of my friends, he he texted me and he told me, um, you know, you finally want to get on Madden <laughs> for a long time, and your first time being on Madden, you you, you one foot. So um, that's pretty amusing to me as well. And uh, my mom, she she texted me and she was like, well. Remember I told you that story about David and Goliath? Well, now you're living it. So um, I had a lot of a lot of people contact me and just make jokes about it. Here's a good piece of news. At least you weren't on the cover, because you know what happens when you end up on the cover in this game. And I will say, <laughs> you did tweet about this, which I thought was great, Chris. He said, no matter how small you are, have big dreams and live big, even if you are just one foot, two inches tall. Chris, thanks a lot, man. Really appreciate the time. Appreciate the sense of humor. All right, thank you. You got it.